on this computer. It's recording. It is uh, September 17. This is the weekly package managers check-in update sing-along. Um, and I am supposed to be talking first, so let's see, did I write a thing? Anyone, anyone? I have some replies. Okay, from none of you. Point is, uh, I think I mentioned last week, I don't know, I've been trying to research a little bit more into different ways of approaching the OKR thing. So uh, in case somebody else uh, in the world has maybe a slightly different way of looking at it, that might uh, be easier for us to keep up with. All, all the just more efficient, more all the things that we like because, you know, rocket ships and shipping and all that. So um, I summarized a uh, book that I read that's, that's one that someone recommended to me like five years ago. And instead of reading it, I read a bunch of blog posts and saw the author talk, but I never actually read the book. It's called Radical Focus. Uh, point is, I summarized it in how I always do things, which is like little pictures and droppy notes and things and a mural. So there's a link in the channel if you're curious. Curious, go keep a, uh, take a look. Uh, maybe the, the main bits of takeaway and, uh, are that she was heavy on the, oh, the OKR, uh, the OKR thing is a process that facilitates conversation. Um, so she had a little four square layout that she's like, well, this is what you should look at every week and have your team together at the weekly talk through these different bits and pieces of it. Um, because of course you don't want the OKRs to sit in a, a document somewhere else that you're not checking in on. Um, so I like that approach. And the, I'm trying to, there's one more thing I want to tell you. What was that? Um, don't know, but I'll summarize and get back to you. But Molly, we can chat if you like some time about that or just quick, if that maybe just a quick thumbs up, thumbs down. Is that, um, can I try to write, the OKRs that are due like this week or next week using that framework or going a bit towards that approach? Um, or we could talk later. Yeah, let's maybe hang off. Okay, cool. Time. We can do all that. But so that's what I'm focused on this week because it's end of quarter, beginning of quarter. Uh, yay. Uh, okay, next. Who's up? Uh, da, da, da. How about Dominic? You're next to me. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> Thank uh, you. Yeah, so uh, something, something, package manager thing. Um, I'm working on the mount stuff. The, the, the IPFS implementation is coming along a little bit well. Um, there's some issues around read dir and stuff, but there's that. And then I also pushed out a little um, demo of IPNS, but I have to re-record it. Because um, again, there's some bugs with it. But I think things are progressing pretty well. Um, this morning I spent time working on some third-party library stuff that not very interesting. I was getting upset at integer things and fixed with and signed types and all this other really fun stuff. Um, but yeah, that's probably it for me. Um, let's go with Alex. You're next. Hi. Um, I've been working on getting the build out of the door. Um, so we merged. It's not strictly package manager related, obviously, but. Um, We'd merge the thing to the HTTP client, which uh, switches the library that we use to do HTTP requests, and it seems to stop PubSub from working on Go IPFS. Um, you get exactly 16 messages when you subscribe to a given PubSub channel, and then they all stop. Um, JS IPFS worked as they expected, uh, mostly because I think it was tested with that when it was developed, um, so you can't really release it as it is. Uh, also, like, you know, it would have been fun if we had an automated test suite that would catch this kind of thing. Um, so I only found it because I was running the test of a third party repo with our pre release. Um, so I've just put a PR into Azure that lets me run uh, arbitrary uh, like test suites of arbitrary repos with new JS IPFS releases. So this will be part of the uh, build process from here on in. Um, when that is done, uh, I need to start upgrading all the libraries so that we can stop being so far behind libp 2 p and IPLD, et cetera, because um, everything's moving forward and JS IPFS is lagging behind quite seriously. Um, that's likely to mean be for the rest of the week. Any questions? Uh, a birdie told me you've also been involved in some Unix of SV 1.5 conversations. Do you want to give any a status update on on that piece? Uh, yeah, so um, the easiest path forward is to have uh, metadata added to the existing UnixFS um, uh, nodes. Um, 
as opposed to having like a separate node that contains metadata because that involves like twice as many requests for everything, um, which would be really boring. Uh, so we're going to try and implement that uh, in JSIPFS and then uh, kind of shake out the rest of the problems with the uh, spec, which is going to be really cool. Um, so we're going to have a, there's going to be a meeting uh, later this week, I believe. Uh, so you should shout if you want to be involved in that. Yeah. What did you mean by Go PubSub was dropping messages and do you have an issue or something I can look at? No, I'm still trying to replicate the problem reliably because I want to find out where exactly the problem is because it worked with the previous uh, HTTP library and it doesn't work with the current one. Um, I can't see anything crazy. Is it PubSub or is it Gossip Sub? Gossip Sub drops messages more than PubSub does, than FloodSub does. So maybe that having switched the primary, if that's what you guys were doing, would, would cause issues? Um, so I tried flood sub and gossip sub with Go and it didn't make any difference. Like both of them stopped after 16 messages. It's just weird that it's like so predictable. Like it's exactly that and then you don't get any more. It sounds um, like a buffer. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's why I was asking in the Go channel earlier today about like logging extra stuff so that I can just dive into it and find out what's going on. Um, but as soon as I've replicated it, I will open an issue and, and you know, as long as I can show you, because I don't want to open an issue and not be able to tell you what the problem is. So as soon as I can yeah, tell you there's, what There's an issue open right now on like messages getting lost using PubSub. That's like, if you read through that issue and it looks like it's the same case, then that might be helpful. I, I yeah, I, yeah I, I spotted that issue. Um, and like, if it was that, I would, I would expect to see like different things happen on every run. Uh, but this is exactly the same. Like it always stops at the same point. So I don't, I don't think it's related to that issue. Okay. You have to choose your next victim, Alex. I was just wondering if there are any more questions. David could have a question. Well, I can see. Good point. Good point. Questions. Um, uh, Stephen, do you want to give an update? Uh, sure. This week, um, my first order of business is to uh, handle the, sorry, pull, or cut an IP get release um, for Cloudflare. Uh, I do a bunch of or sub rounds review on um, common account stuff uh, and a bunch of Lupin P stuff. So, like, we have a Lupin P contributor who keeps on some back to CHD, but we're not keeping up on reviews. So, I'm going to try to catch up on that a bit. Um, I just saw a notification of a pin update bug that I'm going to look at unless someone else wants to take that. Uh, IPFS also needs a release because unfortunately Go Element 1.3 breaks the build again. Um, I, then if I find some more time, uh, Vizo has several patches up around uh, like simultaneous connect, which helps with the hole punching and reducing auto relay DHC traffic. I'd like to try to get the reducing auto relay DHC traffic into the release, even though that's going to be a bit bigger um, because like it's 95 percent of our DHC traffic at the moment and it's causing problems. Um, uh, yeah, if I got, find time, I'm going to try covering for rule a bit because he's on vacation and working on multi-stream too. That's my update. Uh, I see that we have a David. David, anything you want to say? You don't have to. In the chat, he's saying his internet is really bad so that we should, we should uh, yeah, okay. reach out by chat if we have questions for him. Uh, then uh, Dirk. Hey, Aaron. Um, so I've been working on improving the BitSwap proof of concept. Um, so there's there's kind of there's currently a bug in the way that we're uh, processing messages that are incoming, basically. So I'm just doing some testing to figure out exactly where that is so I can fix it. Uh, and then. Yeah, I'm going to continue on with that this week. Um, probably going to need to make some architectural changes because the proof of concept is just kind of something I threw together. So we need to make it actually perform well in practice. Um, is this bug related to Hector's uh, comment on how we appear to be uh, not sending blocks? No, this is, uh, well, I don't think so. This is to do with how one halves and one blocks interact. Got it. But in general, um, there's a couple of other things I'll discuss with you in a minute offline, but you know, I noticed a couple of other things in the code that might be causing the issues he's seeing. Any other questions? 
Uh, who's not going? I didn't. What's up? Uh, yeah, so trying to um, probably most of this week will be spent on uh, some pub sub related things like trying to get tests to pass that haven't passed in a long time uh, or sometimes don't pass and <laughs> hasn't been that way for a while or uh, trying to get some of the PRs that are already out there kind of reviewed and, and pushed through. Um, I also have to do some slide and like demo preparation work for uh, Macau because there's basically no IPNS related materials out there. So I gotta go do that. Um, yeah, I, I will probably bug some people to try and figure out whether the number of things like go routines we actually use is like, oh wait, we actually use that many or whether something is going wrong. That's that's roughly where I am at right now. Um, anybody else? Any questions? Or I don't know. Who's, is there anyone? Molly, you have anything you want to say? Or <laughs> I don't know if you're next or if we're we're out of peoples. Yeah, I guess I'm I'm last. Um, I think my my main focus is. Um, we have a meeting meeting tomorrow with with one of the um, kind of collab partners we've been working with to get fast feedback loops on BitSwap performance and so um, just making sure that that is in a good state and get clarity on whether or not <clears throat> or get early clarity on whether we foresee that continuing into Q4, which hopefully we do. Um, the, the other thing on my mind is thinking about um, kind of the, uh, Q4 in general. Um, I think one of the, the general trend across all of our, our groups is going to be kind of um, landing the work that we've pushed really hard on this quarter. Um, we've seen a lot of improvements across all of the working groups, but we've also, uh, we had high, high expectations and goals for ourselves, and we didn't get all of them out the door as expected. Um, so, so the aim is going to be making sure that we really land those with clear clear deliverables and we set set good goals for ourselves that we think are achievable and that also um, drive us to really commit to, to time. Um, and so I have a couple ideas of, of what might be really awesome goals for us to shoot for for the package managers team in particular in terms of um, finding a moment we can all kind of sprint towards and, um, and have like really clear deliverables of uh, what we've done with package managers in 2019. Um, the the other thing that's on my mind um, was something that that I think I've talked about with a couple of people, um, which is something that a lot of other, or at least some of the other groups are doing, is getting together as a team for um, kind of the beginning of Q4 to uh, kick off and spend a little like a week of time together or something along those lines. Um, and so looking at this team, um, it seemed like there's a potential opportunity to get the group together. Um, the first week of October, um, which would be an opportunity to do some more knowledge sharing, to make sure that, you know, kind of as a team, we're, we're gelling and, and getting to spend time together, um, and also maybe an opportunity to actually practice some of the um, putting package managers on top of IPFS, such that we all have kind of clear feedback loops of like, oh, like I understand what putting a file systems package manager on IPFS entails um, so that we can, one, have the proof of concepts that like we, we know in Grok and can debug, um, and two, we can have those benchmarks that we, we talked about at the beginning of the quarter. Um, and so this is, a, I think, a useful opportunity. Um, wanted to kind of pull, pull the room on whether or not that is um, something that is feasible for folks to um, find an opportunity to meet up together and um, other requests for like what we could do in that time that would be super valuable. Uh, just one note before we start doing dates and different stuff. Uh, I know sometimes we don't like to share our personal calendars on the public recording. So maybe <laughs> uh, do that in a second or pause the video because the world doesn't need to know when and where we are all meeting together. Um, so do you want to talk about that now or or chat or I can pause it. I mean, if that if everyone's talked about everything else, I can pause it and then we can talk about all the like personal tribal details and whatever. I don't know if there I'm, I, Any, anything else there basically. Other, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we can come back to that one, but anything else folks want to bring up? Or have questions? Okay, let me stop the recording.